Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create free and unlimited amount of logos, icons, anything pretty much. And I'm also gonna show you how to fix them. So when you create the logo, for example, uh, you might get some background or you might get some text on it and it doesn't look right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna combine text to image and we're gonna combine generative fill and we're gonna use the two tools together to create free stuff. Now, before I go any further, I want you to know that I'm in my free account. All you gotta do to do this is just click on adobe.com, get a free account. And just to show you that I'm working with that, it says upgrade your free plan today. So again, this is a free account. Anybody can have this. And I'm in Canada. There might be some countries it doesn't work for, but I don't think so. So here we go. We are in Firefly. I'll put a link in the description below. The first step to create your free logo, for example, click on text to image here and then just click on this generate button. Here we go. Now you'll see a whole bunch of cool looking images, but what we want here is the bottom is the prompt bar. We're just going to go ahead and type in something. So I'm going to go uh, Bulldog logo for a coffee company something simple like that i just want to show you the technique i don't want to do any prompt engineering type fancy dancy stuff so there you go i hit program bulldog for a logo bulldog logo for a coffee company look at that these are great logos do note that it has applied on the right side here i'll quickly show you it has done it in a square which is generally ideal for a logo although four or five isn't so bad either but um we've got a square logo but if you wanted it to look different you can go ahead and change the aspect ratio also, it has selected the art content type. You can do it with a photo or none or graphic, but art is generally pretty good. And then you can also go ahead and apply different styles and colors. So I'll just quickly show you if you wanted it to have like a pop art type look or maybe any of these other ones, 3D art, you can go ahead and experiment with all of these. They are free as well as some of these techniques and effects. I won't go too far down that rabbit hole, but I do want you to know that they are there. Also, you can adjust some of the coloring as well right here. So if you wanted cooler colors, vibrant colors, etc., lighting and composition, I'll let you experiment with that. I want to show you now how to go to the next step. So let's say for, you know, argument's sake, I like, well, I like all of these actually, but this one here, I'm going to go with this one. And the reason why I chose this one is because it looks like it has some kind of writing here at the bottom, which doesn't really fit. Sometimes it does a logo, but then you get the text, which also raises an interesting question. Is Adobe <laughs> using, where are they getting this text from? How are they doing this experiment? So look at this. I've gone ahead and clicked on this, but we can go a step further. If I go up here to the top, look at that. You'll see here when I hover over here at the top left, it says generative fill. It also has show similar, but for this one, we're going with generative fill. So I'm going to click on that and now watch what happens. It now takes me to the generative fill uh, workflow. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to reduce the size of my brush and watch this. I'm just going to sort of color this out. Let's just move it a little bit here. I'm going to color it out. I don't, you don't have to be super exact, but I just want to show you the technique. So if you get a logo that you like, but it's got a bunch of text in it and it's kind of like melted in and you don't want it, let's just do something like that. And now I can type something in here if I want it to say something, but if I just want it to fix it, I'm just going to click on generate and watch this. We're going to get some examples. And this is a combination of text to image and generative fill all done and bang, that is awful. Let's click on the second one, awful. Third one, not so good. Fourth one, bit better. Okay, we don't like it. Let's just click on the more button. Let's run it again. What we're basically looking for is we just kind of want to get rid of that ugliness and make it into a good looking logo with no text. So there we go. This one's actually manageable. I don't mind that. We could keep it. And again, we have the option if we want to, we can just go over it again. And then we can keep doing this until we get the look that we want. So I'll just click on generate again. It's going to give me four more examples. Let's see if we get a better one this time. Come on, Adobe Firefly. This one is not too bad. This one is correct. So we could keep that one and presto. And if you need to make any changes, you can, of course, color it up in Photoshop or Illustrator or any online free tool. But this is how you create logos. You can create an unlimited amount of logos using Adobe Firefly. Thanks for watching.